What's up, everyone? It's your boy Noah Rad89 here, bringing you another Rad movie review. It is October 3rd, and that means we're on to our third movie, a new horror film that I've never seen before. And this is actually a 2023 horror film that is a brilliant reimagining of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And this is The Angry Black Girl and Her Monster. This is currently streaming on Shudder. That's where you can check this film out. And today, you're going to hear my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So The Angry Black Girl and Her Monsters, directed by Bomani J. Story, and this is actually the directorial debut, and this follows our main character, Vicaria, who is a very smart young black girl who ends up having a, her older brother gets tragically killed, and she ends up finding out like her main thing is that she wants to cure death and she believes it's a disease. So she brings him back to life and doesn't know that when she brings him back to life, she actually resurrects a vengeful monster. So this is, like I said, a very fascinating reimagining of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And like I said, for being a directorial debut, I think that's fantastic. This film is brilliantly paced it has an awesome you know cinematography and the way it looks it has a clear-cut vibe about it you know what I mean and it has a style to it and I love that aspect of the movie so when you're seeing it like the director I can tell like knew what they wanted to say and what they were trying to do with this story and a lot of the scenes like they have this potent imagery inside of it and I think that lands all the way through and this is one of those films that was a great surprise for me every minute that was going on every second that was happening I was just quite surprised by how like I was captivated by this movie our lead actress who plays Vicaria is just very fantastic like I really had a fucking fun time probably one of my favorite characters in terms of 2023 films probably one of my favorite lead characters because she has so much depth to her and I like the emotional journey that she takes throughout the film that we go with her on it's very potent and I love it and for real being the fact that she is really smart and she knows what she's getting herself into and knows what she's trying to do when she's able to step outside of herself and look that something's going wrong and ha trying to figure out things. Yeah, this is really a fantastic character and like I said, one of my favorite characters from this year. We also have a great use of the low budget, you know what I mean, with the locations they stick to using and reusing similar locations throughout the entire film, but they shoot them at d different times of the day, different lighting and stuff like that, and they really, you know, just kind of create this community feel to it because it takes place in this small, like, similar locations where all of these characters live and stuff, and, like, Kango is one of them, who's this gang leader and stuff, and that she gets involved with him as well, so that has a huge part of it because her brother was involved with this gang, so that's another aspect of this film that they have a lot to say about, you know, culture and subtext and all kinds of things that happen in our world are in this film. So it actually has strong messaging that's layered throughout the entire movie. And like I said, this is one of those films that just has so much to offer because it has actual statements and things to say about it. It's a gruesome kind of horror movie that has all kinds of, you know, cool practical effects, but it's used in a very low budget way and the way they do it and the horror elements are there, but it, it kind of takes time. It takes a little bit of time. It's more science fiction at first. I would say about the first 20 minutes of the film, it's very much a more scientific science fiction approach, you know, Vicaria arguing with her teacher about how she can cure death because it's a disease and all these kind of things and getting sent to the principal's office and then there's then their the horror stuff starts to come later in about a half hour 40 minutes in but there is a lot of cool horror elements and like I said really good homages to Mary Shelley's Frankenstein you know a lot of great callbacks to that film. I like our side characters too, like especially Vicaria's dad, like her dad is a very realistic, down-to-earth character, even Kango, like the lead gang leader of the gang that was involved, he ends up coming into it and ends up helping Vicaria later in the third act, so I think it's very fantastic that we have layered, awesome, cool side characters that elevate the plot, and like I said, this is a film that... As it was going on, I was struggling to find any kind of negatives. I do have some when we come down to it. I'll discuss them. But 
it was really surprising me every moment, every aspect of this film, because especially after coming from a film like Street Trash, which I wasn't really that high on, this is a film that really, you know, just floored me in terms of acting. The performances are there, they're emotional, they're potent, and I like all the characters, and I feel like they have emotional depth to them. There's a great horror elements and science fiction elements that I feel are well balanced, and I think this film has style, cinematography, and a clear cut vibe about it even the soundtrack and the you know the score to it uh, chef's kiss so this is one of those films that i was really struggling to find negatives with it as it was going on let's get into the mix of negatives because there's really just kind of like minor things and like one thing for me is that that's going to hold it back from getting like a 10 out of 10 a perfect rating is that this film does treat its audience as this we are probably not as smart as they think we are you know what i mean it kind of hammers home it's very uh, subject matter, the statement it's trying to make about how African American people are treated and gentrification of communities and all those kind of things. It really has a lot to say about that, but it tries to hammer the subject home hardcore and like said treating the audience like we're kind of stupid like you know but I think there's a lot of people out there that have no idea that this is going on so I know that this film is like not a bad film I'm not saying that hurts this film huge it's just like I said a minor negative for me because it's already there it's already in the film I just don't think they needed to state it or show it as much but there's really some gripping moments like some very emotional moments that I was like on the verge of crying because it's very like the way they shoot it the way they edit it and especially the certain scene that has a young child that's done that's passing away and Vicaria is witnessing it it's oh it's it's really heavy you know it's a very heavy scene to watch and my other minor negative is that it does take its time to get going this is one of those films that you do have to commit to it you have to really get into these characters you have to commit to the story and commit to the pacing because like I said the first 20 minutes it's not like a drag it's not completely boring but the first 20 minutes is really building the world setting up the stories and kind of setting up the style that you're going to be into for the rest of the film and then when we hit that 30 minute 40 minute mark that's when really the film starts to take off but like i said i did not hate this journey at all this is a film that i really did enjoy and like i said i was just really kind of struggling to find those mix and negatives but they're just kind of minor ones and in terms of a rating in my book for the angry black girl and her monster this movie is gonna get a 9 out of 10, a very strong 9 out of 10, and like one of, like so far my favorite of the watches that I've had. So I have like three new watches for October. I had Arachnophobia that first day, then we had Street Trash, and now this film, and this is my favorite. And like I said, you can currently stream this on Shudder. That's where you can find this film. But these are just my thoughts and my opinions on the angry black girl and her monster. Please let me know down in the comment section what are your thoughts on this film. If you've seen it or even if you haven't, just hit me up. Say, what's up, Norrin? How you doing? How are you enjoying the October, the spooky season so far? Let me know. Are you guys all decorated and everything? Like I said, there's other stuff to discuss down below. I love the support and like the video. That greatly helps out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video so you're on this journey through October because we got a lot of other spooky, awesome videos coming that I'm planning. So stay tuned to the channel. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.